Hey, welcome back to Pilar. You clicked on that question mark thumbnail to see what we're going to get today. And today we're going to do an unboxing of an action figure. It is the Masters of the Universe Revelations Sorceress action figure. So grab this and find below. So it's a really good deal, I thought. So if you like those characters, they have a couple of them. So I think they just didn't have many faces at the one I was at. But I thought it's a pretty cool looking character. We're going to unbox it. Let's check it out. All right, here we have the action figure from the Netflix series. I never watched that, but I was a fan of the original cartoon. I do like the art on this box. That's nice, nice side art because it's different from the back art. So I bring that up because I always complain about the G.I. Joe boxes using the same piece of art for both. So I like the fact that the, the two different art pieces, that's nice. I like that a lot. All right, so she's weakened in this series, I guess, but in the original series, uh, she lives in Castle Grayskull. She's very powerful. She's one of the three most powerful people in Eternia, um, from what I understand, at least in the Filmation series. And she is the mother of Tila. Uh, her original name is Tila Na. So I think these top open, if I remember correctly. I have unboxed Beastman on the live stream. Which is also a very cool looking character. I I heard this series is not very good. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I do like the original a lot. And I always like the way this character looked, the sorceress. That was pretty cool. So for five bucks, I was very happy to find this axe figure. A couple of hands and her staff. So let's uh, look at these taped. Kind of hard to see sometimes. Don't think it is. Well, yeah. Just gonna slide it out. Okay. I think there was. Some binding, maybe. Yeah. It's very light, which I prefer. Easier to get out. <laughs> this tape is on here. Oh man, that's there we go. Look at our hands. All right, let's take a look at the action figure. It's a nice color scheme. Looks a little more bland outside the box. I guess the shadow of like the <clears throat> the gray background and stuff, I think it makes the colors pop. It is like on this white background as well, which isn't helping. Uh, so maybe if we changed it to like a darker background, it would look better. It doesn't look bad though. Just decent face sculpt. Has the hawk helmet. Has like the wings, the bird wing cape. Looks pretty cool. It's cloth. Uh, I think your standard articulation. Yep. Uh, these shoulder pads kind of prevent it from going all the way up. Looks like you could take this off. I don't know why you would though. Uh, ankle rockers, which I always complain about. Let's see how she stands. Let's see stand easily. She does. So, nice. Got her staff here. It's a, it's a bit lackluster. Let me look at the, the staff in the picture because, well, okay, this is just one color. So, I got the staff in there. It's not holding it very well there. Not a fan of that. Uh, let's bring it down. Okay, let's bring it down a little more. Okay, there we go. That looks way better. I do like this action figure. This is like a rubbery material. Oh, some detail on the back of the, the dress there. The blue and white look good. The face, I think it looks good. Nothing crazy looking like the Hulk helmet. 
Uh, this could use a little something. Um, you know what? I'm going to change this out. I'm going to put a, a black background on here so the colors look better. And she has like some spell casting hands right here. All right. So put black behind her so you can see the colors pop a little bit better. Maybe the lights are a little too bright. And there's a tiny bit of detail. It's getting a little washed out on the staff. Not much. Cape is nice. For five bucks, I'm I'm happy with this action figure. It looks like the sorceress. It's very cool looking. Uh, looks like it's pretty sturdy, actually. So that feels better made than uh, the Michelle Rodriguez. What's her name? Uh, Holga action figure. She stands easier. But stands pretty well, actually, <laughs> in comparison to a lot of these action figures that I have reviewed. So that is uh, Masterverse Sorceress there. Axe figure. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Smash that like button for me. Hit subscribe. Thanks. Thank you.